thank the members of the choir. I thank the choir for the wonderful songs. Kindly remain standing and I request Reverend M.J. Rajaya, chaplain, to lead us in the opening prayer followed by devotion. Jabam Sebo. And the end of the day, the Indian oil in Madi Velakan and the Solgundro. Cut on the one a Kalangalil, near Angle Parati and Amadakuribe Kathu di Gurom, Serapage, Perendo to Kalangalile. Andor and Report and La Padigapur Kage, So to Kage, Berana Kagan and Sulgundrom, Katakalvi and Mulu the Marke, Andor and Rengale, Berlin and Tene, Nagandi Sulgundrom, Serapag and Darmene, Pudia Kalvi and Lum, Mudalam and Mana Rile, Andor and Angle in the Andore, Undu Madiake, Katrakot the Quebec and Sotun Mandare, Pudia Mana Grandare, Badigat and Badiak, Nerigat and Badiake. Katar Kurt the Kribek and Nisu the Mandavre, Thoran the Pelegal Andavre, Yana Televada, the Avantam Kurvitsa and Nikundrom, the Gore Petro, Anipin and Nokate, Unarundu, Padangal Yana, my Katukula, the Avantam Kurvitsi Viraka, Serapaka and the Kaluri Panina Trigger and Gore Pera, Sagal Badavagal, Ilarim de Karapanikunda Mandavra, Yavri, Yinin, the Skartave, the Turanam at the Mangi Pataka Kurvitsi Viraka, Mulaturk Karangal, the Ravanarat and Nangal, Arpanikundrom, Asir Vadium, Balinatum. ஏசிவின் மூலம் This is one of the other one, one of the two, one of the two, one of the two. Praise be to God. The Bible portion is taken from Old Testament book, Ecclesiastes. Chapter 11, verses from 9 onwards. It goes up to the 12th chapter also, the first verse. Let me repeat the book Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verses from 9 up to 12th chapter first words, verse onwards. Rejoice, ho young man, in your youth and let your heart give you joy in the days of your youth and walk in the ways of your heart and in the sight of your eyes. But know that for all these things, God will bring you into judgment. Therefore, expel sorrow from your heart and put away trouble from your body. For childhood and youth are emptiness. 12th chapter, first verse. Remember now your creator in the days of your youth before the evil days come and the years draw near when you will say I have no pleasure in them Amen Thank you sir First of all I like to thank God for this wonderful opportunity to deliver the God's message. I am very grateful to the principal, Dr. Daya, Paul Dayabaran, and also the vice principals, Dr. Alapo Moses and Dr. Sati Zilan and Barsa, Dr. Nyana Raj, and also the faculty members. For today's meditation, the scripture, the scripture portion is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, 9. Rejoice, O young man, in your youth and let your heart give you joy in the days of your youth. Youth is the gift of God. This is a stage where youngsters make decisions and draw strategies and plan for their future. A young man called Joseph 
very much loved by his father but deficiently sold by his brother all christian students they know the story joseph when he was taken to palace the story behind them all are very well in spite of him being handsome and good looking he had overcome temptation by the flesh by the scent of the spirit joseph into many troubles because of his saying and empathic not to lie with her the important question he raises is how can i do such great a sin against god this is a question repeats how can i sin against god joseph feared god joseph feared to sin against god joseph obeyed the commandment of god many youngsters in the present day context should and follow the model of young man called joseph instead of being impression god honor the life of joseph he became the a great ruler of the land forgiving his brothers for the wrong deed against him joseph would be well known and the nigel children and raga arivirgal kadavulukku rodumaga paavam seidhu eppadi endru solli anor kelviye kettan paavam seivadarkana soolnai irundhalum avudey sindhayile kadavul aga aalamaga padindu padinaale avan kekkanan how kadavulukku rodumai paavam seidhu eppadi how can i sin against god ulle inda kalluri pida vandirukkira pudhiya manargalai வரவேற்கின்றேன் வாழ்த்துகின்றேன் கடவுள் கொடுத்த மிகப்பெரிய வாய்ப்பு என்று நீங்கள் எண்ணி நீங்கள் காண்டவர் நன்றி சொல்லுங்கள் எத்தனை பேர் கிடைக்காத ஒரு அட்மிஷனை ஏதோ ஒரு வகையிலே கடவுள் உங்களுக்கு கொடுத்திருக்கின்றார் இந்த கல்லூரிக்காக அதிக நீங்கள் நன்றி சொல்லுங்கள் வாசிக்கப்பட்டதானே திருமறை பகுதிகளை பார்ப்போம்னு சொன்னால் இட் டாக் அபவுட்ஸ் த யூத் அண்ட் த நீட் ஆஃப் ஹாப்பினஸ் அண்ட் த ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி அப்போ நோ இந்த creator in younger age itself valiba kalathile un sister ninai endru solli vedam namak kodukirathu valiba kalangal edhayum saadithu saadikka vendum solla kodiya kalangal tadam maarugindra kalangal tadu maarugindra kalangal tadikki velum kalangal endradai marandu vida kodadu inda soolilile namakku ore valli vendinal vedam kaattukira or serandha vali adhu dhaan மற்ற ஆறாம் அதிகாரம் பற்றி மூன்றாம் வசனத்தை பார்ப்போம்னு சொல்லலாம் முதலாவது தேவடைய ராஜ்யத்தையும் அவருடைய நீதியையும் தேடுங்கள் அப்படி இவைகளெல்லாம் உங்களுக்கு கொடுக்கப்படும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இஸ் சீக் த கிங்டம் ஆஃப் காட் அண்ட் இஸ் ரைட்டஸ்னஸ் அண்ட் தல் பி ஷேட் அண்ட் டு யூ அக்கடவுளை முதலாவதாக நீங்கள் பற்றுக்கொள்படியாக நாம் அழைக்கப்படுகின்றோம் இந்த வாலிப காலங்களில் அதிகமாக கடவுளை தேடும் சொல்லலாம் வாலிபக்கு ஏற்கனவே சொல்லணுமா தடு மாறுகின்ற காலங்கள் தடம் மாறுகின்ற காலங்கள் தடுக்கி விழுகின்ற காலங்கள் புதிய ஒரு சூழ்நிலை புதிய கல்லூரி புதிய நண்பர்கள் கட்டுப்பாடற்ற ஒரு நிலை இதுவரைக்கும் பெற்றோருடைய கட்டுப்பாட்டிலே நம் வாழ்ந்திருந்திருப்பீர்கள் பெற்றோருடைய சொல்லை மீறாதபடி நடந்து கொண்டிருப்பீர்கள் ஆனால் இங்கே சொன்னால் ஃபார் ஃப்ரீ டு டூ எனி திங் ஃப்ரீ டு கோ ஃப்ரீ டு டாக் அந்த சூழ்நிலையிலே உங்களை வாலிபத்தை காத்துக்கொள்ளும்படி உங்களை அன்பாக கேட்டுக்கொள்கின்றேன் உங்களுடைய பெற்றோர் அனுப்பின நோக்கத்தை நீங்கள் சரியாக புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் உங்களை வழிமாற்றுகின்ற தடமாறுகின்ற சூழ்நிலைகள் அநேகம் வரலாம் பி கேர்ஃபுல் அபவுட் யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெதர் மேல் ஆர் ஃபீமேல் இந்த காலங்களிலே சரியான நண்பர்கள் நீங்கள் தெரிந்தெடுத்து நீங்கள் பின் சொன்னால் உங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கை மிகவும் சிறப்பாக அமையும் வாலிப காலங்கள் நமக்கு கடவுள் கொடுத்த மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு கிஃப்டான கிழ் கிஃப்டுன்னு சொல்லி மறந்துவிடக்கூடாது ஸோ மனி யங் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஹேவ் ஃபாலோன் ப்ரேட் டு டெம்பரவரி ஜாய்ஸ் அண்ட் ரிக்ரெக்டட் ஆஃப்டர் வேர்ட்ஸ் வென் தே ஃபவுண்ட் டெம் செல்ஸ் in a wrong path millions of people have found jesus christ is a person to study and follow to have a better life the young jesus should certainly be a great role model for all of us and our jesus christ namak or munmadhiriyaga irukkinjar avar da namak role model inda ganagiri paarkkondra manaiyarku ovvoru varum or role model veithu kondukkirargal anal aan namak and our jesus christ or role model aga irundukkinjar sodhanagalai vedangalaiyum சந்தித்தார் ஆனால் அதனை மேற்கொண்டார் சோதனை பாவம் அல்ல சோதனை விழுவது தான் பாவம் அங்கே சோதனையை மேற்கொள்ள வேண்டும் சொன்னால் ஆண்டவரை நீங்கள் 
பிடித்துக்கொள்ள முடியாத அன்போடு கேட்டுக்கொள்கின்றோம் அன்பு குழுவின் தரமான மதிய வேலையில் இந்த புதிய கல்வி வந்துக்கள் அனு அனைவருக்கும் மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு வாய்ப்பு கடவுளால் கொடுக்கப்படுகிறேன்னு சொல்கின்றேன் ஒருவேளை எத்தனையோ பேருக்கு வாய்ப்பு இல்லாமல் போனாலும் இட் இஸ் அ பர்பஸ் இன் யுவர் காலிங் இந்த நோக்கத்திற்காக கடவுள் உங்களை இந்த கல்வி இந்த கல்லூரிக்கு அழைத்து வந்திருக்கின்றார் உங்களுடைய வாழ்வு சிறப்பாக அமைய வேண்டும் என்று சொன்னால் யூ மஸ்ட் ஒபே யுவர் காட் அந்த ஒரு டீச்சர் திஸ் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கடவுளுக்கும் ஆசிரியருக்கும் முதலாவது நீங்கள் கீழ்ப்படியாக கற்றுக்கொள்ள வேண்டும் இந்த பார்க்கணும் சொன்னால் இன்றைக்கு இருக்கிற சூழ்நிலையில் ஆசிரியர்கள் தான் மாணவர்களுக்கு பயப்பட வேண்டிய ஒரு சூழ்நிலையில் இந்த உலகம் சென்று கொண்டிருக்கிறது பேசினால் கூட குற்றம் என்று சொல்லப்படுகிற சூழ்நிலை வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் நான் சொல்லுவேன் என்றைக்கு ஆசிரியர் கையில் இருந்து பிறம்பு வெளியே போனதோ அன்றைக்கே மாணவருடைய ஒழுக்கம் போய்விட்டது எல்லாமே போய்விட்டது I am very proud to say I am a Finlay High School student. I have told you that 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 you have told me 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 You must respect your teacher. You can go there. 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 That's what I am telling. You can go there. 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 There are different colleges for mothers. But you can go there. You can go there. ஒரு சிறப்புக்குரிய கல்லூரி என்பதை அநேகர் அறிவீர்கள் அழகாக சொல்லுவார்கள் பியூட்டி பிஷப் பியூட்டி பிஷப் மீன்ஸ் நாட் ஓன்லி த பில்டிங் என்வாய்மெண்ட் அண்ட் சர்கம்ஸ்டன்ஸ் பட் பட் ஐ எம் டெல்லிங் த ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் பியூட்டி ஆக இந்த கல்லூரியில் இருக்கிற அழகான ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி நீங்கள் எங்கேயும் பாண முடியாது தனிப்பட்ட முறையில் உங்களுடைய வாழ்வில் பிரச்சனைகள் தேவைகள் சந்திக்கப்படும் பொழுது உங்களுக்கு உதவி செய்வதற்கு அநேகருக்கு இருக்கிறார்கள் தெர் தேர் ஆர் சோ மெனி டீச்சர்ஸ் கோயிங் டு ப்ரே ஃபார் யூ தேர் சோ மெனி கவுன்சிலர்ஸ் உங்கள் நல்வழிப்படுத்த உங்கள் எதிர்காலம் சிறப்பாக அமைய இப்படிப்பட்டதான அருமையான ஒரு பேராசிரியர் மத்தியில் இருக்கிறார்கள் அங்கே ஜெபிக்கின்ற அணுங்கிய பேராசிரியர் நான் அறிவேன் எங்களாம் உங்களுக்கு உதவி செய்யும்படியாக கடவுளை கொடுத்த மிகப்பெரிய பொக்கிஷம் என்பதில் மறந்து விடாதீர்கள் ஏனோ தானோ என்று இந்த அருமையான காலங்களை நீங்கள் வீணடித்து விடாதீர்கள் ஆக தான் சொல்கிறார் ஒரு ஜாய்ஸ் இன் யுவர் யோத் இளமையிலே என் மகிழ்ந்தரு வாழைப்பேனே உன் இளமையிலே என் மகிழ்ந்த ஆனாலும் தேவர் உன்னை நியாயத்திலே கொண்டு வந்து நிறுத்துவார் என்று நீ அறி ஆக முதலாவது தேவனுடைய ராஜ்யத்தோடைய நீதியும் தேடுங்கள் கடவுளை தேடும்போது வேற எவர் யூவார் த பவர் ஆஃப் சாய்ஸ் இஸ் கிவன் டு யூ உங்கள் இடத்துல சொல்கிறோம் அந்த எல்லாவற்றையும் சொல்லிடுறோம் இட் இஸ் அக்செப்ட் ஆர் நாட் இட்ஸ் யுவர் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி நல்லதை பிடித்துக் கொள்ளுங்கள் அன்புக்குரிய நரிமான மாலை வேலை வந்திருக்கிற நாம் கடவுள் உங்களுக்கு அனுப்பின நோக்கத்தை நீ மறந்துவிடக்கூடாது எதற்காக உங்கள் பெற்று அனுப்பியிருக்காலும் மறந்துவிடக்கூடாது இன்னும் நம்மளை பெற்று எல்லாருமே டாட்டா பிர்லா இல்லை வி ஆர் வெரி கம்மிங் ஃபுரம் பூவர் ஃபேமிலி ஆனால் பெற்றோர் எதுக்காக அனுப்பிடுறார்கள் என்பதை உணர்ந்து பெற்றோருடைய ஆசைகளை தேவைகளையும் சந்திக்க கொண்டு நிறைவேற்ற வேண்டும் ஒரு நாளும் நம்ம பெற்றோர்களை ஏமாந்து விடக்கூடாது ஏமாற்றி விடக்கூடாது கண்டதே கோலம் கண்டதே காட்சி என்று சொல்லி உலகத்தினுடைய மாயிலை விழுந்து விடாதபடிக்கு உங்களை நீங்கள் காத்துக்கொள்ள வேண்டும் படிப்பு ஒன்றே நோக்கம் என்பதை மறந்துவிடக்கூடாது அனுப்பணி பெற்றோருக்கும் குடும்பத்துக்கும் சமுதாயத்துக்கும் திரு உங்கள் திருச்சபைக்கும் இந்த கல்லூரிக்கும் உங்களுடைய படிப்பு உங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கை சிறப்புள்ளதாக அமைய வேண்டும் பல ஆண்டுகள் கழித்து சொன்னால் கூட நான் வெரி ப்ரௌட் டு சே ஐம் பிசக் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய பெருமையை உங்களுக்கு வேண்டும் அதை நீங்கள் உங்கள் கரங்களிலே நான் ஒப்படைக்கின்றேன் நோ வி ஆர் இந்த தேர்ட் இயர் ஆஃப் பேண்டமிக் நாட் ஓன்லி பேண்டமிக் பட் வி ஆல்சோ ஹேவ் மெனி சேலஞ்சஸ் வித் அஸ் அண்ட் பிஃபோர் அஸ் God never left us alone. God was with us. God is with us. God will be with us. May God bless you. In the name of the Lord, we are the Lord of the Lord. 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 பழம் பெருமை மிக்க பிஷப் ஹீபர் கல்லூரியின் 
முதல்வர் பெருந்தகை முனைவர் தா பால் தயாபரன் ஐயா அவர்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கிறோம் வரவேற்புரை மற்றும் தொடக்க வாழ்த்துரை நிகழ்த்திட மே ஐ ரிக்வஸ்ட் த ஹானரபிள் பிரின்சிபல் ஆஃப் பிஷப் ஈபர் காலேஜ் டாக்டர் டி பால் தயாபரன் டு வெல்கம் த அகஸ்ட் கேதரிங் அண்ட் ப்ரபவுண்ட் த ஓப்பனிங் ரிமார்க்ஸ் பிலவட் வைஸ் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் ப்ரொஃபஸர் அழகப்பா மோசஸ் வைஸ் பிரின்சிபல் ஏரியட் செக்ஷன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டாக்டர் ஜேஜிஆர் சத்தியசீலன் வைஸ் பிரின்சிபல் செல்ஃப் ஃபினான்ஸ் செக்ஷன் ரிவியட் சாப்டின் ஐயா ரெவரண்ட் ராஜி ஐயா பெலவட் பர்சர் ஆஃப் அவர் காலேஜ் லேனட் ஹெட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் கோஆர்டினேட்டர்ஸ் மதிய கலீக்ஸ் டீச்சிங் ஸ்டாஃப் மதிய ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஹூ ஜஸ்ட் ஜாயின் அவர் காலேஜ் ஃபார் டூயிங் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அண்டர் கிராஜுவேட் ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் எஸ்பெஷலி students from BBA, BCOM, BCA and Computer Science, beloved parents of the dear students, beloved student council members, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, a warm welcome to all of you. My greetings to all of you, especially the freshest, the student friends. Dear friends, today I have gathered here just to get orientation we call it an induction program we are going to expose various activities that that are going to happen the next three years while you are staying here for doing your undergraduation i must tell we have our illustrious beloved vice principals professor dr pomosis the vice principal of aerid stream and professor dr jj r satya silan the vice principal of self finance stream professor dr pomosis is also the head of the department of environmental science we introduced this program way back in 1982 in whole of india avas is the first college to introduce masters in environmental sciences and professor jj satyasilan is the head of the department of computer science and he is also the coordinator of computer science computer application as well as information technology and data science so they have gathered the they, they are present here just to motivate you just to talk with you just to encourage you and also to welcome you to our campus on we hope everyone gathered here it's a warm welcome to both of them we welcome you sir i'm stressed we have a revered chaplain here just now we listen to a lovely message of course in this youth time we have to give priority to the lord the creator life depends on our priority is it okay that's the most important thing our decisions is it okay so priority is very very important normally we can learn priority only from the child young child never leaves her mother when she is at home when mother is not there she or he will stick on to the father if both are not there they go to the grandparents if they are also not there then only they go to the maid who will take care that is how child knows so god's gift is it okay because my mother takes care and and, and father takes care nobody can replace the parents above all we have a creator who created all of us in his image all human beings are created in the image of the lord is it okay therefore we are special is it okay we are special just the most powerful animal we can call tiger we can say lion we can say elephant isn't it is it okay is it a good what's the most loveliest creature in this world the human beings why because we are created in the, in the image of the lord the savior so therefore lovely message is given to all of you so we must give especially the youth time which many are not doing we must give the first priority to the lord maybe the parents maybe the teachers maybe the senior friends and of course to your friends also is it okay so this morning we had a wonderful message so at the juncture i extend a warm welcome to our revered chaplain ayya we welcome ayya i must stress we have our lovely faculty members they are responsible for this to happen we have various heads we have various deans we have our bursar extend a warm welcome to our bursar our finance officer he is also the head of the department of commerce we have dean and associate deans of different disciplines we have heads of different departments coordinators the teaching staff they are the assets so they are responsible for this institution to go from to uh, grow from strength to strength at the juncture extend a warm welcome to the entire 
teaching fraternity, various deans, various heads, and coordinators of different departments. I extend a warm welcome to the entire teaching fraternity, all, all the teaching staff. So dear friends, you are the most precious, isn't it? We just entered the campus. I said, okay, so I'm sure we'll meet all your expectations. Just finishing your schools and you have joined here. You are the first step of higher education. That's the reason why we have this induction program. Now it is totally different. You never had about major, never had about allied, you never had about portfolio, you have never had about skill-based elective, you never had about non-major elective. Now new terminologies. I said, okay, new lessons. You have to, you have to occur, you have to procure for your life. So that's the reason why this is happening in our campus. So I extend a warm welcome to all the freshest students of commerce, students of computer applications, students of business administration, and students of computer science. And you belong to shift two. It's a lovely shift, in fact. Morning, you can get up leisurely, you can study better. Normally, in the afternoon time, relax. Once again, you will be very serious, and you can learn better. In our college, there is no difference between shift one and shift two. Just in front of my room, many are standing just to transfer from shift two to shift one. I really, I wonder, I feel very sorry for them because afternoon shift is the best shift. Morning, you can wake up, you can present, you can, you can think individually. Motivation comes from within, in, within the individual. You've got time. I said, okay, you can prepare well. And in the afternoon time, you can come and meet your teachers and you can relax. With your teachers, you can relax actually. When you meet your senior friends, they make you comfortable. When you meet your peer group, you may have a pressure. When you meet your seniors, they will make always juniors comfortable. Seniors may be your teachers, your senior friends in the college. So don't worry about shift. You are in shift too. I welcome all the student friends who have come here to attend this program. Definitely you're going to have an enjoyable time in this campus. I welcome all of you. My warm greetings to all of you. I also extend a warm welcome to the parents. So parents are seated at the top floor, fourth floor of this hall. They are watching the proceedings live. I extend a warm welcome to them. I also thank them for having chosen our college as a, um, as a, as a place of study for your undergraduation, uh, with, the, with, the, with the undergraduation program of the children. I, ex I extend a warm welcome to all the parents. Uh, Mr. We have a lovely uh, student council members. They are seniors. I said, okay, sir. they are represented in your different classes. They are here to guide you. After this program, you are going to, to different places. You are going to expose to different activities. So I welcome all the student council members for this function. I extend a warm welcome to each and everyone gathered here. With this brief word of welcome, let me introduce the college in two different dimensions. In our college, we have a lot of hierarchy. We have principal, we have vice principals, etc. Let me introduce that one first. Then we can go to the uh, credentials that we have attained uh, in, in our campus. So we have our bishop and chairman. He is the chairman of the college governing board and he is secretary of the college. He is not here. He has gone to England to attend a conference. So he is the chairman of the college governing board and he is also the secretary of the college. Then principal is in charge of all the academic activities in the campus. And to assist the principal and assist the management, we have two vice principals. We have two main streams, aided stream, which functions in the morning, and self-finance stream, which functions in the morning as well as in the afternoon. So we have our professor, Aragapa Moses, he's head of the Department of Environmental Sciences, just now I mentioned, and he is the vice principal of aided stream. He's going to uh, uh, encourage you and motivate you by giving different rules and regulations and all the academic activities later in this session. And we have a very big self-finance stream, our head of the Department of Computer Science. Uh, maybe uh, before that, we have one vice principal self-finance, former vice principal, uh, former head of the Department of Botany. He's on leave, he has gone to Australia on, on a personal note. He is the vice principal self-finance. At present, he is on leave. Amidst us, we have vice principal self-finance, the head of the Department of Computer Science and the coordinator of all wings of computer science, computer application, information technology, as well as data science, Dr. J.J. Satya Silan. He is the vice principal of self-finance section. And we have the head of the Department of Commerce, Dr. Nyan Raj, as the bursar. Bursar means treasurer of the college. For institutions, we won't say treasurer, we call bursar. He's the finance officer. He's the entire, he's in charge of all the financial aspects of the college. Dear friends, we have different deaneries. I said, okay, we have as many as seven deaneries. I would like to introduce all the deaneries 
First, I would, I would like to introduce the deanery of academics. We have two major streams, art stream and science streams. And of course, commerce is also coming under arts. So we have Dr. Shobana, the head of English department is the dean of arts. And Dr. Violet Dayabaran is the dean of sciences. He is the coordinator of biotechnology and bioinformatics. And again, to assist the deanery of academics effectively, we have two associate deans representing arts. We have Dr. K. Shanti, Associate Dean of Arts. And representing Sciences, we have Dr. A. Josephine Prabha, Department of Physics, is the Associate Dean for Sciences. We have a major division called Internal Quality Assurance Cell. And of course, Dean of the Academics, IQAC, are in charge of this event to happen. The Dean of IQAC is uh, Dr. J. Prince uh, Merlin. He's under the Department of Chemistry. So he's the Dean of IQAC, the Internal Quality Assurance Cell. So we had to measure quality in colleges. So therefore, this deanery has been formed by the instruction of NAC and UGC. And to, for, the function, uh, for the functioning uh, of this deanery, we have uh, three associate deans. Dr. Angela Nueda, Faculty of Chemistry, is the associate dean of IQAC. Dr. DJS Anand Karnagaran, Faculty of Physics, is the associate dean of IQAC. And Dr. B. Arun Kumar, a Faculty of Social Work, is also the associate dean of IQAC quality in different dimension, not only in academics, in everything that happens in the college. And we have a deanery called research and development. When we, take up, when we talk about higher education, which is the course thing first, teaching, learning, and the next one, research. We cannot separate teaching and learning and research. They should go parallelly, simultaneously together. So therefore, just to promote research in the campus for faculty as well as students, we have a deanery of research and development. Dr. Suresh Fredding, the UG head of English, is the uh, dean of R&D. And we have, we have three associate deans. And Dr. Khanna is the associate dean representing basic sciences, mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Uh, we have a few more associate deans. Dr. Priscilla Suresh is the associate dean representing life sciences. He's the head of geology department. Dr. Thamara Chalvi, the head of MCA, is the associate dean representing computational sciences. And Dr. Prem Kumar is the associate dean uh, representing arts. You have English, history, and economics. So we have four associate, uh, three associate, four associate deans uh, for research and development. We have a major deanery called student and staff welfare. So our vice principal self-finance section, Dr. Satya Silin is also the dean of staff and student welfare. So you may wonder, how about this comes? So we have plenty are here, not only for studies. We must take care of the general welfare of all the students, as well as the teaching and the non-teaching staff. And so, okay, we provide scholarship for the needy students. We have a lot of activities. We do counseling. Is it okay? Unless your mind is clear from all the huddles, you can't study well. So therefore, to meet the different needs of staff and students, we have a dinner of staff and student welfare. Dr. Satya Silen, the head of the Department of Computer Science, is also the uh, Dean of Staff and Student Welfare. To assist this deanery effectively, we have Dr. Ravi Das, head of the Department of Physics, is the Associate Dean, and Dr. Alex Rajkumar Paul, Faculty of English, is the Associate Dean of Staff and Student Welfare. We have Dean of Extension Act, Deanery of Extension Activities. You may wonder what is extension activities. We are different clubs. Is it okay? We are here. We, so we are here to become a good citizen, isn't it? That's most important. If we lose our character, everything is lost. We, you're not privileged to come to Bishop Heber for your studies, for your undergraduation. There are many dropouts, isn't it? We must con village folks, uh, illiterates, semi-literates. We must have concern for them. And you must also e equip different aspects. We have clubs, 30 clubs, like NSS, NCC, uh, youth, <coughs> Exnora, Youth Red Cross, you have Suicide Prevention Club, Legal Aids Club, Human Rights Club, Movie Club, Communication Club, plenty of clubs with regard to your taste. You can choose any of the clubs. I said, okay, so those clubs, you do activities. It's so mandatory. And all the students who are in first UG, yourself, and your senior, second UG, they must do 40 hours in one year. Two years, they must do 80 hours. And you should get minimum grade in your club. If you are a sportsman, you can, it's a separate club. If you are an NCC, the separate club. So, you have to take part in activities and you have to procure, well, good character. I said, okay. So, for that, we have deanery. Dr. Anand Gideen is the dean of 
uh, extension activities. And to assist this dinner effectively, we have two associate deans, Dr. M. Gabriel and Dr. Uh, Sam Davosir. Both are professors from the Department of Social Work. They are the associate deans of extension activities. We have training and placement. We are very much bothered about your placement, isn't it? You must have heard about campus interviews. Well, you are on final year. Many organizations will come here to a campus and they get interviews. If they satisfy as per th their norms, they will take you. After you finishing your examination, you can go and join as an, as an employee. So therefore, we are doing this through training and placement division. We have a deanery, we have dean for training and placement division, Dr. Dana Paul, and the UG head of shift two is the, uh, the dean of training and placement. And to assist this deanery effectively, we have two associate deans, Dr. Aisia, the faculty of chemistry and head of, data, the head of food science, and Dr. Sheba Princess, faculty of English, are the two associate deans of training and placement. We have international relations. You may wonder why this uh, deanery. So we have a tie-up. We have MOU signed with various overseas universities. I said, okay, so we can go and study and come back. Our students, some students have gone to US. They spend one semester. They can do few courses. The past two years, it, it didn't happen because due to pandemic, you know, we can't travel abroad. You know, within, within India, we can't Within Trichy, we can't go freely. So therefore, this, uh, this uh, uh, has been stopped temporarily. Now we are going to revive it. We are fortunate. You can go, you can spend one semester. And you will be, normally when you go abroad, when you go to the US to study in a, in a university, you have to spend more money for, as a tuition fee. In this scheme, if you go, tuition fee is waived. They will not charge even a single dollar or a single pound sterling when you go to UK. But you have to pay for your travel and you have to pay for your food and stay. We said, okay, it's a great opportunity. You can spend, you can send, spend some money and you can gain a lot of experience. That is happening through international relations. And many will come here, we'll go there and you have a lot of international collaborations. That is taken care of by the Deanery of International Relations. Uh, Dr. Uh, Raj Kumar, Head of Data Science, is the uh, Dean of International Relations. And to assist him, we have two associate deans. Dr. Michael David Prem Kumar is the associate dean for international relations. He's not only the associate dean of international relations, he's also the head of the Department of Management Studies MBA program. And we have Dr. Sobas Smiles David, head of BSc Computer Science, uh, S sub two, self, uh, shift two, is the as another associate dean uh, of international relations. And of course, as a college, as an institution of higher education, we must do a lot of projects, projects. So therefore, we have separate dinnery for projects. And we have two associate deans. Dr. Parvati is representing art stream and Dr. Vijayalakshmi is representing science stream. So they are the two associate deans of the um, <coughs> projects. So with this hierarchy, let me introduce about the college. So our college is, not, is an autonomous college. So we have controller section is the backbone. Uh, Dr. E.C. Hendi Amidaraj is the controller of examinations. He's the former um, uh, vice principal self-finance of um, uh, self-finance section. Later, after retirement, he took charge as controller of examinations. And Professor uh, D. Prabhakaran is the joint controller of examination. And he is the former vice principal of Aerid Stream and former head of the Department of Botany. And to assist uh, more effectively in this section, we have additional joint controller of examinations. Pro Professor Javakumar Pandey of the Department of Physics is the additional joint controller. It is about the controller's office. Dear friends, with this introduction about the different deaneries and system, let me just present briefly about the uh, college laurels, achievements. So in 2004-05, our college has been um, granted the autonomous status. So we got the autonomy status in the year 2004. You know what is autonomous? Autonomous means we have the freedom uh, to frame our own syllabus for every major, we have Board of Studies, and all the Board of Studies are coming under Academic Council. So we have the liberty to set the questions, to prepare the syllabi for different programs, to set the questions, to conduct the examinations, and to value the papers by the examiners from other institutions, by us, and we grade you, we allocate marks to you, and all the grades are, uh, are endorsed by the university. We are affiliated to Bharati Das University. And degree will be given by the university. Is it okay? Is it okay? Therefore, our university has two sets of colleges. Majority are affiliated to the university directly. 
Only university only frames the syllabi, they conduct the exam, they value, they award the degree. Whereas for autonomous college, we have the liberty. College has the liberty. So we frame the syllabus, syllabi for different uh, majors, curriculum. We design. Is it okay? We teach. Is it okay? We conduct the examinations. We evaluate the scripts. We allocate, assign the grades. And it is endorsed by the university and they give the degrees. That is the difference between autonomous and affiliated and directly affiliated colleges. Is it okay? So our college is an autonomous college. And of course, uh, we have got different uh, grades. So you know, uh, NAC, you, you must have heard about NAC, National Assessment and Accreditation Council. First time we got the first accreditation, in year 2001, we got five star status. Then in 2007, we got A plus status, A plus level by NAC. Second cycle of reaccreditation. And before getting third cycle, the college has been recognized in the year 2011 as a college with potential for excellence. And we received almost 1.18 crores for doing different projects for improving the infrastructure in the campus. Then after that, once again, we have gone for third cycle of reaccreditation by NAC. At the time, we got the top grade, 3.58 out of four. And we've been placed A grade. And all these three cycles, we got the top grade in NAC. Again, in 2017, our college has been recognized by UGC, University Grand Commission, as College of Excellence. Again, there is an elevation. College with potential for excellence. Then we got College of Excellence. Again, we received almost 1.5 crores for doing various projects for the development of the campus. Dear friends, along with NAC, uh, MHRD, Ministry of Human Resource Development, introduced another organization called, a uh, forum called National Institutional ranking framework. They rank all the colleges. You should have seen the TV recently, you know? All IITs, all business institutes, all engineering colleges, all medical schools. So in 2017, we projected only aided stream. At the time, all over India, we've been placed fourth. We got fourth rank all over India. Then we've been asked to show as a full college. We, we submit the data for the aided as well as self-financed college. We have 30 UG programs, we have um, 23 PG programs, we have 500 plus 540 faculty members. So we put the entire data. So therefore college has grown big. Therefore in 2019, we have got 44th rank at the national level, top 50. That's okay, we have within the top 50 of all the colleges. We have plenty of colleges throughout India. Even in Tamil Nadu we have plenty number. We have got 44th rank in 2019. In 2020, we got 39th rank. In 2021 and 22, recently we got 43rd rank. For the both two years, we got 43rd rank. If we, if we take our university, it has more than 150 colleges. Among 150 colleges, only two colleges are within the first 50. Ours is one among the first 50. So we are very glad that we are doing extremely well just for the glory of the Lord. And our priority is only you, the students. And we got some more credentials. You must have seen DST FIST, Department of Science and Technology. Again, for improvement of science departments, we got, we applied for college as a school, whole scheme, and we got one crore. And we also got star college status by DBT, Department of Biotechnology. For that, we got almost 35 lakhs. So we've been doing well in different dimension. So recently, we got the approval from AACTE. What is the AACTE? All India Council of Technical Education. We must know two main bodies to govern all the arts and science colleges. We have UGC, University Grants Commission. To govern all the engineering colleges, we have AACTE, All India Council of Technical Education. So even MCA and MBA should come under that one. Therefore, we got the affiliation from them. And what is the motto of the college? It's called Nisi Dominus Frustra. It's a Latin sentence. What does it mean in English? In vain, without God. What does it mean? We can take a lot of efforts on our own. We have some results. When we take a lot of efforts, and when we also seek the grace of God, God's grace, then the result will be in plenty, in abundance. So therefore, what does it mean? What all the efforts that we take, that we take will become futile unless the grace of Lord is there. 
So as students, just now, listen to the wonderful sermon. Is it okay? We can take efforts. We should not, we may be intelligent. We may be rich. We may have, have all facilities. But we should not be self-dependent. We should give priority to the Lord, the seniors. I would say the Lord Almighty. Always we must seek the grace of God. What's the secret of the success of our college? We work very, very, very hard. Is it okay? And we always seek the presence of the Lord, the grace of the Lord. Then we will be successful. Is it okay? Uh, so, dear friends, the, the motto, our leaders rightly made it. Nisi Dominus Prastra. In vain without God. Is it okay? What all the efforts that we take will become waste, will be useless when there is no God's grace. So, dear friends, this morning, this afternoon, I am delighted to see you all here. This morning also we met few students. We inducted more than 3,400 students. Is it okay? So it's a big college in our university. I would say the biggest college in our university. More than 12,500 students. Is it okay? And you must have discipline. And you're exposed to different kinds of activities. After this, you're going to have, this is the first one, general orientation. We are attending now. After that, you have five more aspects. You have self-awareness, know yourself, know thy values. Then you have inter interpersonal communication. You have gender sensitization. You have campus tour and environmental awareness. And finally, as I mentioned, we have 30 clubs. We call Pot 5. We have to enroll yourself as, as a member in one of the clubs. So everything will be exposed. So dear friends, slowly you'll get to know everything. Is it okay? Now you are not a school student. Is it okay? You are a college student. You are meeting your seniors, teachers, and your senior friends. Make use of all the facilities. We have wonderful facilities. Is it okay? You may be in the afternoon shift. Don't worry about that one. Have a nice breakfast. Uh, wake up early. Study well. Have a nice breakfast. Come at 11 o'clock. Spend time in the library. Is it okay? Then come to the classes at 1.30 after having your lunch. Spend time. So apart from classrooms, you have to make use of all the facilities. Your lovely student service center where the training and placement division is there. You can prepare even now. If you want to become an IAS officers, civil service, uh, civil, uh, service uh, aspirants, prepare now itself. Even now you can go to see, you can do a MSc in, in IITs. Some of you would have regretted, isn't it? I didn't do well, therefore I, I, I will come to Arts and Science College. Is it okay? Still you can do your masters in IITs. You can do integrated PhD in IASCs. What are the top institutes? IIT is number one institute in India, you know, recently we would have gone through. Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, you can do. There's an integrated PhD also. Is it okay? Even now you can do. So therefore, you must take efforts. Now is a high time for you to make use of this campus. You are now 16 plus, 17 years. Most crucial time, end of teens and early 20s. Next five years, six years. is the most crucial time for all of you, all the youth. At the time, you must have the right priority. Is it okay? I'm not joking, right priority. So if you fail the next six years, then it's a crime, that's a cr then you're wasting the entire life of you. So dear friends, is it okay? Be joyful, is it okay? Be joyful, be serious, be disciplined, and try to get every good aspect in this campus. And when you go out, probably after three years, you attend the, in the same hall, you may attend the graduation ceremony. Is it okay? At the time, you must, be, you must feel proud that you have chosen this college as your place of study, and your parents must be, some of your parents are the above. They are sit sitting in the fourth floor with a lot of anxieties. They may also come for the graduation ceremony. At the time, they'll be really happy. My son, my daughter, got graduation successfully. So, dear friends, without wasting much time, I welcome all of you, and I'm sure we're going to have a great time in this campus. All the best. God bless you all. Thank you, sir, for your warm note of welcome introduction and encouraging motivation kalluri mudalvar perundagai avargalukku nandri todarndu kalluri olungu nerimuraigal mattrum kalluri kalvi nigalvugal kuritha mukkiya arivippugaludan tanadu vaalthuraiye nalga soolaliyal thuraiyin thalaivar arasudavi perum pirivin thunai mudalvar perasiriyar thirumigu alagappa moses ayya avargalai anpodu alaikirom Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. 
Discipline is the refining fire by which talent becomes ability, says Roy L. Smith. May I request Dr. Alagappa Moses, Vice Principal of Aided Section, to freeze out the rules and regulations of our college to the freshers of the undergraduate programs. <coughs> Respected Principal, Dr. Paul Dayabaran, the Vice Principal, Self Finance Section, Dr. J.G. or Satya Silen, the Chaplain of the College, the Reverend M.J. Rajaya, the Deans, Heads and Coordinators of various departments, and dear students and proud parents. I'm happy to present the academic activities, the code of conduct of the Bishop Heber College to you. I'll try to be um, bilingual as much as possible. As the principal rightly pointed out, this college, which comes under the Bharatidasan University, that is the affiliated to the Bharatidasan University and functioning as an autonomous college, follows a semester pattern system and uh, it is exclusively a choice based credit system. So we have four semesters with different parts of the curriculum. The parts of the curriculum we have part one as the language, part two as English and three as the major and allied subjects, the fourth one being the skill-based activities and courses, and the fifth one is the extension activities, which the principal mentioned that uh, we have a separate deanery for that. And the parts of the curriculum in specific, like the part one, it deals with the languages, and the part two as the English, and uh, the other part three deals with major wherein you have the core and the elective subjects. And in the allied you have uh, the allied subjects both in the first and in the second year. Then you have a group project in the third year because as in the introductory remarks principal said that we do have a uh, DST FIST sponsored uh, you know, grants available so therefore we do have a system in which almost all the final year students are taking up the projects. So in addition to which we have the part four, which you know it is an important one and you have, there are so many things given, mentioned here. The SBEC, the skill-based elective course, and then the NMEC, the non-major elective course, the value and life-oriented courses, environmental studies, and uh, skill-based course. So these are uh, the one which comes under the part four. Then you have the part five is the extension activities, along with which we have the gender studies, which is very, very important. And uh, in the first year, you know, what are all the various uh, parts involved in it, you'll find that one, two, three, and three parts with major and light, and the part four and part five. So this goes with both the first and the second year. So in the third year only, you'll be having your advanced code and elective courses of your respective discipline. Then, one of the uniqueness of this college is the student exchange programs. So we have signed a memorandum of understanding with the institutions, with the countries mentioned here as the Canada, the France, Malaysia, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America. So you'll be able to see here within the US, there are imp the important universities are the Appalachian State, Concordia College, Davidson College, and the Merrimack College. These are the four institutions with which an MOU has been signed and uh, it is being uh, functional. And we have uh, MOU signed with the United Kingdom with the Liverpool Hope University and uh, the Wolverhampton University and with France, the IESG, the Institute de Economic Scientific et de Gestion and in the University of Burgundy. And with the Malaysia and uh, Canada, you have the Trinity Western University with the Canada and the Binary University with Malaysia. So this is a very good opportunity for every one of you should remember that there is an opportunity for you to get yourself enrolled with these institutions with I mean, with the undertaking or uh, undergoing any of the courses you know, of available with these universities so for which you can always contact the Trinity of International Relations. <clears throat> okay, 
So coming to the academic part, we have a continuous internal assessment. The continuous internal assessment, you can see the components mentioned here. The CIA is for about 25 marks. And the practical component is for about 40, 40 marks. You can see here the theory components. The tests, the assignments, the seminar quiz, and the attendance. And then the practical, you have again test, record, the overall performance, you and all the attendance. So therefore, you need to be very uh, attentive in all these aspects. And uh, you should always be present by giving your attendance. And you can see the attendance plays a very vital role. And uh, up to 25%, you will be eligible only with 25 percent in order to write the end semester examination and the rest of the rules goes like 25 26 to 35 you will have to pay a fine that's college condonation and then 36 to 50 this is the university condonation and uh, for which you have to produce a medical certificate a valid medical certificate and uh, below 50 you will not be eligible you know you will not be allowed to write the end semester examination so this is you should always remember that so attendance plays a very important role. And uh, next is being an autonomous college. Always the university will not give you a rank, university rank, or you will not be eligible to get. But there is a provision here to write, to take up the university rank examinations, which will be conducted usually during the month of September. So therefore, by way of writing this, who are all eligible? You can see here the academic toppers are eligible in each respective discipline and you can write the university rank examination and uh, if you get the first rank you are eligible to get a gold medal and a university rank certificate in addition to that you have all uh, a pg merit scholarship also then you have an extra credit course with an aggregate score of 75 percent and above you are entitled to take up this as an additional course. There is no continuous internal assessment as well as uh, no formal class. You know, it's a self-study course and uh, you can learn by yourself. And uh, there is no mention in the statement uh, if it is not cleared by any means. <clears throat> so apart from all this, you have the part five. As principal said, the extension activities plays an important role. So we have the part five clubs. So there is a big list here. There are about 30 clubs. So uh, the part five extension deanery will uh, explain to you different part five clubs available in this college. You can en yourself get enrolled in these clubs, which is one of the major, uh, it's a mandatory activity. You can get enrolled in any uh, one of these uh, clubs, which will get you about two credits in the part five activity. And uh, you need to complete this within the span of two years. That is a, the first two years within the four uh, semesters. So apart from the degree that you are learning, you will be able to learn diploma and certificate programs. So very just, uh, just a sample list is given here, but still there are many departments have a lot of other diploma and certificate programs, innovative programs, skill-based programs which will get you uh, kind of develop an entrepreneurial skills and then uh, your ability to compete with the latest trends. So it is the advanced medical lab technology, the bioanalytical techniques, child-focused community development, industrial safety management, paper and pulp technology, and solar energy technology. And similar to that, you have the certificate courses on journalism, food production, bakery, and Hindi, herbal entrepreneurship, latex, calligraphy, and so on and so forth. So you, you, you'll have to be, uh, you know, like very keen. I advise you to get yourself enrolled in any of these certificate and uh, diploma programs which is being offered either for if you are in shift two, you can take up some of these programs uh, in shift one timings or in the weekend. So it's a kind of a flexible program which I think will enable you to get yourself acquainted with all this. Then scholarships, uh, most of you will be interested, you know, like uh, you'll be interested to know more about this okay so the college office will tell you more about this and uh, even every department is provided with adequate information on this so the government of tamil nadu scholarship is available and the bishop heber students helpline is the another one which provides you with a lot of scholarships so you can see here some of these scholarships mentioned here as for the bc the mbc sc sca and st you can get, you can avail the government scholarships. 
There's a separate uh, staff available in the aided office. You can contact them for further information. And you have uh, ad hoc merit scholarship and Adi Dravidar welfare loan, minority scholarship, national merit scholarship, freedom fighters scholarship, handicapped student scholarship, teachers, children, farmers, child, children loan, bright students award, and intelligent student award as well, chief ministers award. In addition to which, there are a few other uh, Endowment scholarships are also available, and there is a very big uh, opportunity for you to avail all these scholarships provided. Uh, you know, you are not supposed to avail for more than two uh, kind of, you are entitled to avail only one scholarship at a time. And uh, the helpline, Bishop Heber student helpline, provides you with an opportunity to go for a fee concession to some extent and a noon meals is also available. So this is for both the college, the hostel, and for the dining facility. Coming to the code of conduct and discipline, so this is an important area which I think you need to focus more on this. So I request all the parents also to make a note of this, okay. Bishop Heber College Code of Conduct. It is obligatory upon all students to abide by the code of conduct that lays out rights, responsibilities, including the restrictions. So the rights and responsibilities and the kind of the restrictions imposed on the students is very clearly mentioned in the handbook, which you will be receiving soon. So I request you to go through the handbook for all the rules and regulations, and uh, you should always keep in your mind, you know, like where you stand and which one, which is supposed, you are supposed to do it and uh, do's and don'ts and everything is mentioned very clearly. So if you look at the kind of the jurisdiction over the conduct of all of you, like the students, you can see you should take the cognizance of all acts of misconduct. Misconduct, you should be, you should be aware of, you know, which one do's and don'ts again, right? So it is mentioned here, you, your behavior, your attitude, the way you behave, the way you walk and to do everything in the campus is very, very important. Which is on the campus, what you're doing in your class and in the hostels. So you will be always under surveillance, you should always remember. The entire campus within a radius of 300 meters is under the electronic surveillance. We do have more than 200 cameras fitted everywhere and uh, you know, there is a team, IT support, which is looking into the every activity minute by minute, and uh, they will be submitting reports every day, okay? So dividing the entire campus and uh, the radius I have mentioned into different grids. So on a grid-based system, using the geographical information systems, you know, we are monitoring your uh, activity. So at any point of time, if you indulge in any of the misbehavior in any part of the campus or outside, you will be under trial. So your misconduct even within the auditorium and in the meeting halls is another one, especially like the place where you have been seat, you are now in, and then there will be a lot of activities every department is conducting, so your activity, your behavior in every hall is very, very important. Not only that, when you go out, you are being taken by the part five club activities outside the villages and wherever they are taking you for industrial visit or so. Again, you need to be very careful in what you are doing. And uh, apart from all this misconduct which is being spelled out as part of the jurisdiction of this college, you have the ragging and sexual harassment plays a very important role. You need to refrain from all these things. So the institution, it exercises this jurisdiction over certain conduct relating to incidents that may occur even off the campus also, okay? Then coming to the hairstyling and dress code, these two are very important. So we do have a team under the leadership of the deanery of uh, student and staff welfare, which will look at you and then will check you out of the campus if you are not in the appropriate dress code as well as with the proper hair styling. So you should be very careful and uh, your respective class teachers will tell you more about this and you need to be very careful in this. We do have a counseling center and we monitor your discipline and we try to shape you into the appropriate uh, 
culture and uh, kind of uh, ethnicity as well as adapting to the culture of the Bishop Heber and to the city of Tirchirapalli and making yourself proud of being a uh, Hebarian. So therefore we have the, uh, the ragging is totally banned. As you know, the anti-ragging has a lot of uh, implications. So you will be, you know, like penalized and even you'll be sent out of the com campus when you are marked as a person indulging in the uh, ragging activity. We have uh, internal compliance committee. We have uh, grievance boxes available all over the campus. So you, whatever the problems you have, especially in terms of sexual harassment or ragging or any of the Eve teasing or whatever it is, you know, you can just drop in your grievance and uh, that will be attended to by the ICC, the Internal Compliance Committee. So we have displayed, uh, you know, like the committee members to whom you should report or to contact. So that is available all over the campus. You can contact these people and you can, uh, you know, very well explain to them your grievances or you can write and put your grievances in the drop box. Anti-sexual harass harassment is another one. So these are all part of the entire thing. And of course, you can meet any of the counseling team for that. Class timings. Bishop Heber College functions in two shifts. Shift one, starting from 8.30 to 1.10. And shift two, from 1.30 to 6.10. And the shift one, we have a devotion conducted in the chapel. You will be taken on a campus tour. You will find that there is a tabernacle, there is a chapel in the campus, a unique, uh, you know, building in which we, the, the devotion is being conducted every day in the morning from 8.05 onwards for about 15 minutes. And uh, that will be followed by the 8.25, the first bell, and then 8.30, the second bell, where the first hour of the class, it starts. And it goes like the first, second, third, and fourth hour with a break of 15 minutes from 11.15 to 11.30 as the interval time. That's the only break time available for you to refresh yourself. And uh, otherwise, you know, like the entire cl core classes will be over by 1.10 p.m. for the four noon session, session one, shift one. And the second shift, the, again, the devotion starts at 1.05 and then that will be followed by uh, 1.25 as the first bell and 1.30 as the second bell. And the classes goes with a break of 15 minutes from 4.15 to 4.30 as the interval. Yeah, so then you have uh, the system followed in this college is day order. There are six day orders being followed with, you know, like uh, theory, practicals, your field work and everything will be incorporated. And uh, during the Saturdays, if it's a holiday, you'll be taken out by the, for the portfolio activities. And uh, you will be given uh, due, uh, you know, like uh, prior I mean, intimation regarding the different kind of programs and all that. So whenever there are there is a free hour that you are having uh, during the six day orders, like you are supposed to go to the library and make use of the facilities available in the library, or you can you are free to go to the student service center (SSC). Identity card, ID cards are very important. You should wear your ID cards if. If the ID card is lost, you will have to pay a fine of 600 rupees. And soon that will be in, uh, increased. The fine will be increased even to 1,000 rupees. So you should be very careful in that. And uh, sharing of cards with your friends, with your neighbors, or somebody from the other colleges is also totally banned. If you, that is the case, if you also, you will be sent out of the college as well as if the person belongs to other college, we will be informing the principals and the other deans of the respective colleges to see that that person is also sent out of the college respectively. For any information, the information will be shared by the groups formed as part of WhatsApp group formed by the respective class teachers and the departments. So you have to be very careful in uh, you know, looking at whatever the information, that the announcement, the circulars that are coming and uh, you need to act accordingly and you know to submit whatever the uh, you know like reports or assignments whatever they are suggesting you everything has to be done within the stipulated time then the part 5 and nmec you know non major elective course registration and the attendance for that is important so you should not say that you know i am not aware of whatever the nmec course is displayed and so on and so forth you will be provided with an institutional email id so that is the ID which, with which your classes, teachers, 
the departments and the entire college will communicate with you with all relevant information regarding the entire college. So campus discipline is very, very important, as I told you. And there is a very strict leave procedure here. And leave forms are available with the office. Forms with, re with reference to the on-duty OD. So that you'll have to discuss with your class teachers or the club in charge for uh, OD certificates. And you'll have to produce a medical certificate when, whenever and, uh, there is a, a medical emergency and medical genuine medical case. So you'll have to follow all the points mentioned here as the dress code and uh, behaving and moving with your, the opposite gender. So everything should be very, very carefully, you know, like as in the devotion, our uh, revered, I mean, Reverend uh, M.J. Rajaya, the, uh, the chaplain, have mentioned your um, behavior is very important as part of your movement with the opposite gender. Is You should be very careful with that. And vehicle parking and vehicle movement is uh, totally uh, kind of a very, very important aspect that every one of you should remember. So there will be a registration done for you. There will be a registration uh, for uh, declaring the vehicle that you're going to commute to the college. So therefore, everyone should declare that this is the vehicle that I'm going to come and uh, that registration number and uh, some of the valid documents for the vehicle. Uh, because that will help us in terms of, uh, you know, if there is any theft or whatever is happening in this institution. This data will help us in terms of tracing all the kind of things which the, the security personnel will be taking care of all that. So therefore, we will be checking for your license and your registration details and uh, the five gates for this campus, where, uh, which gate is the gate for the entry of the students and the exit and parking lots for the women, for the men, and everything will be displayed and will be, you will be informed about that. You need to follow all the rules and regulations pertaining to the vehicle parking and movement. So in addition to that, uh, you know, I have already mentioned about the suggestion box and then the availability of the present the cafeteria facility and the usage of the cafeteria facility and the time you are spending in the cafeteria facility, everything you should plan and then you should do things according to the entire campus code of conduct. So no smoking, the entire 100 meter radius of the, the campus, this institution is no, the tobacco free zone and uh, the, the police department is also taking care of that and you know, not allowing not to sell any of the tobacco products by the shops, the vendors. So therefore you need to refrain from smoking, drinking and uh, ragging and eve teasing and all that, and uh, this is a green campus. As you know, that it is about 66% of the campus is green. So you are not supposed to pluck the flowers. You can enjoy, and you should uh, enjoy the entire atmosphere of the campus by way of making this campus uh, eco-friendly one and environmentally friendly without using plastics and all that, okay? So to make you more, uh, you know, like uh, shape you as a kind of a citizen, we have a religious life in the campus with a, religious life committee uh, taking care of all the religious activities and uh, the Christian Endeavor Society conducting various programs on a Sunday evening. So uh, you can take part in all these activities and you can definitely I'm sure you will be able to enjoy the stay in this campus. So I welcome you all as uh, he into the Heber family and uh, today from day that this day onwards you are a proud Heberian of this beauty Bishop Heber College. So thank you for choosing Bishop Heber College and uh, I thank all the parents for bringing you into this campus. Thank you. Very well. Kalluri in Nerimuregalai Tandadarke Nandriya Todandu Pirmimig Bishop Heber Kalluri in Irandairati Irvati Iranda Mandikalvi Antin இளநிலை முதலாம் ஆண்டு மாணவர்களின் நெறிபடுத்துதல் நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு வந்துள்ள புதிய மாணவர்களை வரவேற்க மாணவர்களின் நெறிபடுத்துதல் அமைப்பின் இரண்டாம் ஆண்டு முதுகலை வணிக மேலாண்மை துறை மாணவி செல்வி அஃப்ரா மற்றும் அவரின் குழுவினரை அன்போடு அழைக்கின்றோம் I request Afra Student Council representative to come up to the stage and her crew members to line up Friendship and care isn't a beautiful thing it's a million little things. I invite the student council members to greet and welcome the freshers for bright days ahead. Warm regards to one and all present here. 
Let today be the start of something new. It gives me immense pleasure to be here representing the Student Academic Council. Firstly, to start off, let me tell you all how magnificent our very own college is. As you all know, it's fondly called Beauty Bishop. The beauty of our college lies in our decorum, our code of conduct, our teaching, our programs, our exposure, our wonderful teaching and non-teaching faculties. The college consists of 28 departments and 61 programs where each department has its own uniqueness. And now, talking about Student Academic Council, which is shortly known as SAC. This council stands for the students, by the students, and with the students. Here, we have student representatives and positions delegated like president, vice president, uh, secretary, joint secretary, fine arts secretary, treasurer, and student volunteers. This council strives to work for the betterment of the students, which will be added value for their personality and self-growth. This council involves leadership and training programs like Student Youth Council, it has Model United Nations, it has got many other programs. I'm sure you all must be energized to participate and bring laurels to our college. Keep your spirits high. Wishing you all the best and would like to conclude by saying, it said opportunities are not given, they are found. But our college is known for giving. So make sure you grab them and you utilize them. It's always said, when a person has fallen into a pit, he has two options. Either you use the logs and make a fire out of it, or you use the logs and build a ladder out of it. I'm sure you'll all, use the lad you'll all use the ladder and you'll all come up to success. With that, once again, wishing you all the best and warm regards, and we heartily welcome you to our Bishop Weber College. Thank you, one and all. Malai Kotai Managarin Yelil Kotai. Malai Kotai Managarin Yelil Kotai is Bishop Heber. Kaluri Yenum, Kalvi Kotai, I Kalvi Kotai Kivandu Lani Vare Yum Midum Murumurai, Varavir Kindro, Todandu Nandri Ure, Kanini Arivial Torayan Talaiverum, Suyanidi Pirivin, Tunai Mudalver, Purpu Ikum, Munivar, J G R, Satya Sila Naya Avergalai, Nandri Ure, Valanga and Buddhana like in Rome. May I request Doctor J G R Satya Silan, Head Department of Computer Science and Vice Principal SF to vote a thankful note. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very happy today to propose a word of thanks for this uh, second session. This morning also we had uh, the first session. At this juncture, I would like to thank Almighty God for providing ambience, for bringing us together to have this wonderful and colorful event. Let me start from the spiritual leaders here on the stage. We had a devotion as well as the opening prayer offered by our beloved Chaplain Aya, Reverend M.J. Rajaya Aya, who gave a wonderful message based on the scripture Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verses from 9 to 12th chapter first verse. Thank you very much Aya for sparing your time for giving a wonderful message which is the need of the hour. I would like to thank our beloved principal in spite of his various responsibilities and events. Of course he had a, a commission this morning. He could not attend the whole event but now he is with us he is able to spare his time with us throughout at this juncture I would like to thank our beloved principal thank you sir for giving your time and all the support let me thank beloved vice principal Aida Stream professor Alagappa Moses sir for elaborating the various activities that are happening in our college Thank you very much, Alagapa sir, for giving a nice presentation. I would like to thank all the deans, Berzer, associate deans, heads and uh, coordinators for your full support for the successful conduct of this meeting. 
now i must come to the parents proud parents are here i'm not able to see them all maybe they will be watching this entire program through online we would like to thank them for choosing this institution for making their children to go for higher education thank you parents children can clap for your parents because you are all here because of them only they have put you by taking lot of pain and finally this college is known as beauty bishop but i will say the freshness you are adding you are going to add more beauty to this campus so i would like to welcome and thank all the freshness who are gathered here you have chosen the right college at the right time so may god bless you all thank you nandri ayya in nigalvin nerevaga naatupan நாட்டுப்பண்ணுக்காக நாம் யாவரும் எழுந்து நிற்போம் கல்லூரி பாடல் குழுவினரை அன்புடன் அழைக்கின்றோம் நாம் யாவரும் கல்லூரி பாடல் குழுவினருடன் சேர்ந்து பாடுவோம் கனிவான கவனத்திற்கு தொடர்ந்து அவரவர்கள் 